Good energy, everyone. It's Bizman Dan. Today, we're going to learn how to collect customer information for free. Without further ado, let's get busy. All right, so today we're going to use Google Forms, um, of course, the free uh, way to collect customer information. And then I'm going to show a part two on how you can automate that information into your business. Uh, so here, as you start a new form, uh, you can go here and, of course, title the form. We're going to uh, title this the customer information. And then I'm going, I already created um, this field here, but we'll talk about that. Um, I'm going to show each field is um, things that you're asking for, like the customer or whoever's filling it out to um, give that information. So you have these examples that you could, or these options that you can choose from when building out your form. So you can ask for a, a short answer. So for example, your first name, your last name, your address, your favorite color. Um, if you're asking for more than just a short answer, you can uh, ask for a paragraph. And these are what you call like fields. So you can do like multiple choice. So if you give them like, of course, like four options to choose from, then they can select uh, two out of four, three out of four, or all of them. Um, a checkbox is the same thing as if you have four options, but instead they can only select one option. And then a drop down is when you give them four options, but of course they have to click on it first to see it. Um, you can upload a file, so you can request for them to like upload like their driver's license um, if you were doing like a rental car, or for them to upload any um, information that you're asking for for proof. Um, you have the linear scale where you can ask them to rate something for like 1 through 5, 1 through 10, and then they can choose their scale like saying that they like uh, 6 out of 10. Uh, the multiple choice grid is just a different way of showing the multiple choice. Same thing for the checkbox, and then you can ask for like a date and time. Um, and so I will select all of these to just show what that would look like inside of the form, and uh, then I will just explain what that is. Okay, so here I added these forms. Uh, these fields to the forms to just show uh, an example of what it looks like once you have it filled out and of course how you have the questions titled will, um, will indicate what the uh, customer or whoever's filling out have to do so I'm gonna briefly go through them this one here is a short answer so you can give your first name uh, and then I'll just copy this here to show this here is a long answer so you can continue to keep doing this one here like a paragraph uh, this one here is a uh, like the radio button um, and I misspoke before but this is you can only choose one at a time and so you can either choose one of the options here and then the check boxes are when you're able to choose uh, more than one option alright and then here is the drop down so you choose your options and then uh, they can choose from the drop down and then again they can only choose one here's the file upload uh, when you click here then they'll be able to then upload a file from their device uh, whether they're on their uh, mobile phone um, or if they're on the computer this is a linear scale so if you want them to rate from like uh, 1 to 10 or uh, you know whatever you want to do here here's how they can give their ratings and then this is how they can submit it um, here is uh, the multiple grid view of how you can do with the uh, like the radio style so um, again you can choose one but it has to be per like uh, per row per column kind of thing so you can choose it and this is how that um, that will go this the same way um, is the check boxes for the multiple grid view but you can choose multiple so you can choose all of them if you like so it depends on what kind of information you want to collect and then these are ways that you could capture that information and then here's the date that you can give so you can say what uh, the date is and then you can also do the time so if you're scheduling something so you want it on a Friday at whatever time and then here I have it connected because um, we're actually use this form and then I'll show you how to automate that so this one here is a checkbox to see if they're interested um, and then I have it connected to a, uh, a automation uh, that I'll show you shortly so I'm going to delete all these fields and then we're actually going to create one All right, so here we'll just go to delete all of these, and then um, we'll start over. And what I'll do is I'll just add the first name. Well, I'll show you. All right, so now um, that we have the form, we understand how to build it. We're going to build out a simple form where we collect the customer's first name, last name, phone number, and email, 
and then we're just going to ask them a simple question to see if they're interested or not and then we will um, add a automation on the back end to follow with that so let's just go here and add for the first name and then you'll see how you could change the order so we want their first name we're going to choose it to be a, a short answer and we're going to choose another one say last name you don't have to do the first and last name but um, I like to have it that way it's um, it's uniform and it um, stands in the CRM and it knows who act, who exactly filled out uh, which form and so I'll do another one and I'll ask for a short answer and I ask for an email again I said this was called a radio button but it's still uh, multiple choices uh, the same thing uh, and so I ask for a short answer and we'll ask this for the email and then we're gonna do their phone number um, so I typically like to ask for their phone number first and so that way we have who is filling it out and how we can then contact them based on information they filled out and so this is what it will look like and then the customer will go here and fill out their name and then you can say phone number email and then they can say if they are interested or not and then submit the form and then you will get that submission so we'll just submit this for now and then you'll see that one of the responses have been submitted and then you can go and on the back end you'll be able to see these submissions but um, I wanted to show how you were able to build a custom form um, very quick you can also go ahead and change the themes you can go and change like the headers of all, all this stuff as well there were other things I didn't touch on um, for example you can change like the titles you can add uh, images you can add uh, videos and even um, add different sections and this is how you can style your form um, to look a certain way um, have certain visuals uh, to indicate what kind of information to fill out you can even make this like a quiz so there's a lot of ways that you can use a form but basically I wanted to show how it's a free way that you can capture customer information and then now I'll show on the back end how you automate um, this information so now that we got that submission we I'll show you how to automate that using Zapier alright so here's Zapier I went ahead and for the sake of time I just went and added what they call here is zaps which are like steps um, that will happen once um, the trigger is um, once the trigger uh, is executed um, and then I'll have a future video that actually explains how you create um, your Zapier automations and how you can set up each uh, application that you want um, but I'm going to briefly just explain how we automate our form that we uh, created here so as you see when we went and filled out this form it will then go somewhere so what we have is once that form is submitted, we will then sim, uh, send the welcome email uh, to that customer. Uh, we will also check to see if they were interested. Remember that uh, checkbox that we had or that question. And if they are, we will send them a link to purchase a, a service or a booking link. Um, and then I added a little flare here to create their customer folder where you could then upload their files and all that stuff. So you don't have to worry about going into Google Drive, creating their folder, and getting the link to send to them and all. Once the form is filled out, their folder will automatically be created, and then you can go and uh, get that link. And then I have it to wait two days and then send a follow-up email to see um, if they're you, you know how they're doing, just to follow up to see uh, what's going on to remember to just uh, gain that customer uh, rapport so again uh, this is how you can automate all of that and from just having it for free uh, this is will you be able to use it um, and then I'll show uh, without going in depth again I'll have a future video but this is how you can set it up to um, actually construct your email for what you wanted to say um, so here is where you would go in and you can type um, you can say hello and you can go in and grab the person's uh, first name uh, by whatever the, the, the form stuff is uh, here is submitted alright um, and so that is how we basically automate that and then you automate your you know your emails which you want to send out this is um, a little flare to check to see if they were interested so um, be sure to follow uh, follow and subscribe and look forward to that future video um, because this was actually show you to 
um, see if a certain question was filled out then send um, a certain information to that customer uh, so yeah so that's basically it how you can automate your business for free um, and using both Google and Zapier um, if this was helpful please like um, subscribe and look forward for future videos until then stay busy